Three. Here. Three. No. no, I'm not a writer. Okay. Come and get your love by Redbone. Don't forget to tweet in your answers about what film, all three of the songs we are playing today, um, what film they come from. Anyway, we are joined by Ryan Vasey um, in the studio today. Um, Ryan's a, a local filmmaker who's uh, working on um, a current project and has made films in the past. Um, and yeah, so we're going to talk about that today. Uh, so, hello Ryan. Hello. Um, so your latest project, Infliction, is about the life of a hitman who returns to the world of crime. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a bit more about this project? Uh, well, it's... Um the uh, the story starts off in um, the 70s, 1979, um, where the hitman Alex McAllister starts off as a young kid. He's like 18, uh, which is quite unusual for a hitman. And uh, he has this disaster that happens with his family, and uh, the police accuse him of doing this uh, said deed. So he has to disappear, and uh, he returns in 30 years' time to try and find out who actually uh, committed these crimes. Uh, he tries to get back into the world of crime and find out what is going on. That sounds very interesting indeed. Uh, did, how long, did it come up, uh, take long to come up with this idea? Or uh, I've been working on it for a few years. Um, like while I was doing the um, prior um, filming for, for another film. And uh, I wanted to do something a bit different. So I always try for different projects, like different genres and uh, things like that. Yeah, that sounds great, yeah. Um, so, sorry, um, so what were your aspirations for the film? Are you aiming for any particular film festivals? Uh, yeah, I'm looking to take it um, to the uh, Sundance Film Festival in, uh, I think it's Ohio. Oh, oh yeah. wow, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it'll be there, um, uh, things in places like New York, Japan, generally anywhere where, where they'll take me, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Your last movie, A World of Dreams, was made on a budget of just £200 and went on to festivals in Miami, Barcelona and Toronto, which is an amazing achievement. Uh, what was the whole experience like for you? Uh, it was a strange one, I'll say that. <laughs> uh, it was, it was uh, very interesting. Um, obviously, having such a low budget, you have to um, uh, do certain shortcuts, um, you know, find people that are willing to um, help you out when you can. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a it was a good experience, and I'd say something very invaluable um, when you've just come out of um, education to do something like that is, you know, because you like fantastic experience. That does that does sound amazing. Did you find the budget of two hundred pound uh, a tight uh, a tough task or uh, pretty tough? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was. You know, it, it comes with obviously its issues, but um, you'll be surprised. You know, if you ask. People like for uh, you know like can I film in this um, venue or something you know somewhere where people wouldn't probably expect you to um, get in and you know they'll, they'll turn around and be absolutely fine with it so um, it can really make a difference if you just ask yeah you know? yeah <laughs> <laughs> so um, overall did you think uh, that went well are you happy with the film um, and how it went on uh, yeah I mean over I mean it's gone way further than what I anticipated it to go. I mean, I spent 200 quid on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a lot to come of it, but um, when, you know, when I started getting accepted for all of these, these uh, festivals, you know, you've got people that have spent 200,000, 150,000 pounds, and then you own 200 quid film. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's, it's certainly gone a lot further than I anticipated. Mm. It's quite incredible. Um, so how did you get into uh, filmmaking yourself? Uh, well, I got got into it um, initially like, when you when you were a kid. You're watching like you know children's TV shows. You know you want to be a Power Ranger or something like that when you <laughs> when you were a kid. But um, you know the older I got, I started uh, thinking you know this is um, something I'd like to get involved in. Mm. Um, so I just grew with time. Started off in acting uh, initially, but um, where I used to live in Cornwall, um, the opportunities were a little bit slim. So I thought I'd make my own, and, you mm. know, go into directing, and then I ended up doing directing more properly. Mm. That sounds great, yeah. Um, what advice would you give to any aspiring filmmakers? Ooh, advice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I won't do the cliches, uh, networking. Um, but uh, I'd say um, try everything. Um, 
Mm. Like, even if you don't feel comfortable, like uh, I hear a lot of people that, oh, I don't want to do acting because you know it's something you know I don't want to be in front of the camera. But if you do a bit of everything, you can understand other people's position. Like when you're ordering actors to do something, you can mm. kind of you get more of an idea of their point of view, editing, do a bit of everything. You know, it's it's good to have more than one string to your bow. Mm. I'd say. Um, so yeah, um, everything you've uh, found out about Ryan, all his movies, and any information you want about him can be found on his Facebook page at Golden Cut Productions. Um, yeah, so everything will be on there. Uh, coming up next, anyway, we have a special report about influence of film for media students. This is the moment uh, for those who...